guys, Karen here with another La Crusade video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. Today is a really cool video about a artist um, that is that has done some drawings for La Crusade and I'm excited to talk about that probably because I've been following her for about 15 years and so to see her artistry, her artists, her work, her designs on um, the different uh, pots and mugs and it was just so cool to see um, but prior to that before that we're going to get into our giveaway so if you entered our giveaway please stay tuned to the end I know some of you are probably gonna jump to the end but let me just say this just stay till the end I'm not gonna keep you long today at all um, and uh, but if you are the winner of said um, we're gonna have two winners today so if you are the winner of the hundred dollar gift card to lacrusade.com or you're the twenty five dollar uh, winner of the La Crusade card um, today uh, we ask that um, you go to our email address that is in the comments um, or actually it's in the description sorry and then you leave your email address that is all we need is your email address so that they can send you your gift card that's it just your email address and the gift card will not come from Karen and Maya it will come directly from lacrusade.com so yeah we we just and it makes it so much easier um, when we first started doing giveaways we were uh, sending it sending um, the item but it seems so much easier just to send the gift card and that way the gift card can go to anyone wherever you live in the world isn't that cool so <clears throat> with uh, and then if you're new here welcome to our channel um, we're so glad to have you um, and please feel free to peruse the videos and see what you like. We have a lot to choose from. We, over here on this channel, we love gardening, um, different sales and things, tips and tricks, um, how we use our La Crusade items as well. It's just a lot. And uh, if you've been following us for some time, you know that we just, uh, yesterday we just released a new video a new segment called conversations with Karen and Maya I was gonna wait till October but I was so excited for you guys to see it because we had so much uh, so much fun filming it and um, yeah and I wanted and, and you know shout out to all those who wanted longer videos I think that one was long <laughs> and um, yeah we're gonna do that each week where we get to talk about you know different things as well also if you have some ideas or some things you would like to see us chat about in our conversations let us know in the comments below because that will be so much fun and last but not least um let me know today how you like this video so it was fun to make so let's get into it sheila bridges so sheila bridges is a well-known interior designer um the way that i saw her was years ago uh, she was on the Oprah Winfrey program I am dating myself if anybody around who remembers Oprah um, actually I grew up on Oprah because my mom would watch Oprah and then when I got to college and you know and everything I kept watching Oprah too so you know Oprah was a part of the family anyway <laughs> so that's where I initially saw Sheila Bridges designs so she was an interior designer she is an interior designer excuse me and she has done so many incredible homes I mean just you know I'm gonna drop some pictures now of she one of my favorite things that she does is she combines bright bold colors and then uh, creates like um, a whole um, murals and you know the things that she does with texture and color is just absolutely beautiful um, and and mind you it's like a classic design but it's so versatile in how um, it translates to a person's personality or home you know and how they live so it's very functional which for me made it even more apparent as to why they just look who decided to work with her in order to bring forward um these different uh designs the harlem 
the Harlem Toile um, onto the pots. Um, the other thing too is <clears throat> when, so, so a little background detail, the reason what came about because of the Harlem Toile is, so I have my little handy dandy notebook. She's lived in Harlem, New York for over 25 years. Um, she loves to work with rich textures and enjoys coupling uh, functional, the functional and the beautiful all together. Um, and it creates this harmonious, gorgeous, and yet useful design aesthetic, okay? Um, and the traditional French toile is what, that's the design you actually see on each um, pot or the, um, or the, um, the pitcher or the mugs, that's called a toile. And the traditional French toile was a pastoral motif from the late 1700s. And so, and they put it onto wallpaper and that's how in France and you know, in that region, they were decorating. So they would use that and create like, um, not necessarily a mural, but wallpaper and sort of, and that's where you get those older designs. Well, as an interior designer, she decided that she wanted to use one of the toiles, she wanted to find a toile that she could use in her home. And after several times of trying to, you know, look through them and find one that actually fit her style, she couldn't find one. So she decided to make one. That's where you get the Harlem Toile du Jour. And it started as just wallpaper. So here's a few, um, you know, uh, so you, I'm gonna drop some, ideas so you can see the different wallpaper um, and from there it expanded um, so it's now expanded into you can get um, the Harlem toile on mugs you can get the Harlem toile on um, fabric so beautiful you can also um, she has so many different ways of putting using the Harlem toile so you can get it on curtains as well and um, I'm gonna leave a link to her website so you can check it out for yourself um, and also she did an, a wonderful video uh, in um, working with La Crusade and she talks about how she had been purchasing La Crusade for so long and for her La Crusade, she was like, it's such a beautiful piece of artwork. It's functional. They're functional pieces um, that you use to make your beautiful recipes. Um, and she, you know, was is of the mindset that, you know, she was letting her things sit out on the stove or wherever they are. And that's one thing that just totally endeared her to me simply because that was what I think too. So segueing from that, um, you know, stay tuned for next week because I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how I used my Le Creuset as functional pieces in the kitchen, but yet utilize their beauty as well. And I know for a lot of people, they're like, oh my goodness, they're just pots. But I am a very colorful person. I enjoy color, if you can't tell already. Um, and for me, the pots are more than just like, you know, if they were just pots, you could get a set of them and be gone. But because of the different colors and, you know, and, you know, the, the craftsmanship and, you know, and the functionality, so they are usable, you know, I use them in essence to decorate my kitchen, you know, but they're useful pieces of decoration. So I'm going to walk you through the, our, our kitchen on how we, um, you know, utilize everything and utilize the color. Um, so please stay tuned for that. But most definitely she talked about the functionality of La Crusade and how they decided to do a collaboration, which now you get the Harlem Toile de Jour. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, uh, I think it's a wonderful addition. It would be a wonderful addition to any collection because it doesn't take away from anything and that's why she chose the black and white um, simply because she said La Crusade has so many different colors 
that she felt that doing the toile in the black and white color would allow anyone, no matter what color La Crusade item you collect, to be able to add it to your collection without any, you know, um, and it just blend right in. And with that being said, you know, we're gonna end this video right here. Let me know what you think about the Harlem Toile de Jules and how you like it. Do you plan on getting any pieces from it? And if I do, I will, you know I will share with you. Um, obviously, I do plan to get a piece. I'm, you know, let's just be real. <laughs> You know, let's just be real. But let me know what you think um, in the comments below. I would love to know. And on that note, we will segue right on over to our giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Bye, guys. And we're here, guys. So we have the announcement. And we're going to announce. Who wants to go first? Well, you. Well, you <clears throat> well in most um, like winning thingies, when people are winning, you go with second and then you go with first. Okay, so go ahead. So. Our, I, I, I'm, I'm okay, so our $25 gift card winner is Derek Carpenter. Derek Carpenter, you're the, our the, the full username is Derek Carpenter 5705, just in case there's two. Yay, congratulations, Derek Carpenter. F5705. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, this is for the first and the second. Um, you're going to want to, um, our email is linked in the description below and you will just send an email to it and we will forward you the gift card. Well, it won't be us. It'll be, it'll come from lacrusade.com. Yeah. But go ahead and send us your email as well. Yeah. So, um, but all you have to do is send your email address. So when you email us, just drop your email in that email in that link that you send and our hundred dollar gift card winner is Pete Palmieri Pete P-E-T-E P-A-L-M-E-R-I you you're the winner of our hundred dollar gift card to LaCrusade.com both of you have 24 hours to um, get us back the information um, otherwise we will go on to the next we'll choose other will choose two more winners or one more winner depending on which card hasn't been given out yet so please make sure you know you have 24 hours from the time this video is posted which is Monday which is tomorrow and so you'll have until Tuesday to get back to us otherwise we you know it's only fair to go on to the next person give somebody else a chance but we really want you guys to have it so Please let us, please contact us via um, our email address in the description below. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, guys.